All right, folks, how you doing? Welcome back. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different this time instead of going back to hopeless, I mean, sleep, I mean, uh, psychology in Seattle <laughs> and uh, Dr. Kirk Honda's nauseating simping. I mean, even he at this point is realizing that kind of the lost cause, but he can't see it because he lives in a blue hellhole. He lives in fucking Seattle of all places, must be off his head. But anyway, um, this is the opposite, really. Donovan Sharp is the total opposite to... Dr. Kirk, Honda, you know, uh, he's the other end of the spectrum completely. Even he doesn't completely get it, but he gets it more than Dr. Kirk. You know, he doesn't fully understand either because he doesn't know what narcissism is. So I'm going to break this down and analyze it and hopefully get something out of it. I really don't. If you're on here, if, if, if you're a gay guy and you're on Love is Blind, definitely have a problem with that. Carlton, Kenneth, possibly Ramses, but I don't have a problem with gay dudes because gay dudes, if nothing else, they always keep it real and they don't have to worry about backlash or getting canceled. That's absolutely true. I've got friends who are gay and uh, they're the most honest people that there are. And I've got a gay friend who I like to go drinking with, you know, I'll never go home with him, but you know, he's a good laugh. Most men don't deserve to be my friends. You're lucky, Nick. Hot. Most. Now, I think Hannah is an upper lesser type B. Her cadre, I'm not certain of completely, but I would say probably elite. Probably. Definitely upper lesser type B, I would say. Bullying, belligerent, bellicose, bulldozer, brash, bitch. Men don't do... Oh my God. Do you know what this fucking bitch just said? This bitch. Most men don't deserve to be my friends. Most men don't deserve to be my friends. You're Haughtiness, arrogance... Sense of superiority, lack of emotional empathy. We're seeing all of it. We're seeing all of it. And because he's a lesser narcissist, in my opinion, it's pretty obvious when you know what you're looking at. It's not hard to figure out what she is if you've read HG Tutor, if you've been on his channel, watched his videos. Oh, channels, actually. He's, I think, got three channels now. You know, educate yourself, up your knowledge level so you're prepared. Logic defense is on. Cross the emotional sea. Once you know, you go. We're lucky, Nick. Jesus Friends, Christ. You're lucky, Nick. Do you think a normal or an empath would say, you're lucky to meet my friends? This is arrogance. I, I worked hard. You turned me from a boy to a man. He keeps telling her this. <laughs> look at the look in her eyes as well. No, well, the eyes never lie. It's a cliche, but it's true. Look at her. Do you think we resolved the issue? No, you did not. I think we resolved the issue. Um, there was no issue, Hannah. Sometimes I come across flirt. Also, narcissists never let anything go, ever. They hold the smallest things over your head like the biggest boulders. You know, the sword of Damocles is perpetually over your head when you're with a narcissist. They can bring up anything at any time to assert control and to gaslight you and to draw fuel, which means emotional responses. But it comes across the wrong way. So it's, it's, it's been an adjustment trying to, you know, change for you. Which you can never do, by the way, because you don't know what you're dealing with. A narcissist is there to draw fuel and assert control over you. Control is the main thing, as well as fuel, you know? So you're never going to please them. You're never going to get on their good side, at least not on a permanent basis. You'll get reprieves every once in a while, but it will not be worth the price of admission, if I can put it like that. Yeah, gentlemen, little by little, little by little, Hannah is henpecking Nick. She's henpecking Nick. She She's drawing fuel from him like a vampire draws blood. The vampire never stops drawing blood. She is, she is turning him into something that she will eventually abhor. That's what this is. And guys, I say this all the time. When a man changes a woman, when a man builds a woman, he builds her into something he can love. But when a woman builds a man, she builds him into something that she hates. This is just the human condition, guys. Even if Nick makes... Well, Donovan's kind of a bit off here because he doesn't realize something very valuable about narcissism. It's that most male narcissists are lesser and most female narcissists are mid-range, which are totally different. Mid-range is passive-aggressive, lesser is aggressive. In Hannah's case... She's not passive aggressive. She's just straight up aggressive. So she's somewhat in the minority of female narcissists. Most of them are mid-range. So a lot of Donovan's conclusions are not complete, if I can put it that way, because it doesn't really understand what narcissism is. 
when and if Nick makes all of the changes that Hannah wants him to make, if Nick all of a sudden becomes a Svengali of, you know, stocks and all of a sudden he starts to get grown up and gets a place of his own and moves out of his parents' house, still not going to be good enough for Hannah. If- yeah, he's on the right track, but he doesn't know why because he doesn't know that he's looking at a narcissist. And there are so many of them. You know, HG says, stay off online dating. Stay off dating apps. You should go further. Stay off reality dating shows because these things are honey to narcissists. Like, honey draws flies, you know. Uh, Narcissists are always going to be drawn to that. And, you know, it's important to understand that 99% of narcissists are unaware of what they are. But yeah, dating shows like this or anything to do with dating apps or anything like that. Absolute haven for narcissists. It's a toxic environment. Stay the hell out of them. Stay away from them. It, it, because Hannah's going to end up leaving him because you're not the person. You're just not the same person I felt. She's just going to suck the lifeblood out of him, make him a hollow shell of his former self and branch swing on to the next IPPS, intimate partner, primary source. Remember, narcissists have no empathy, no compulsion about moving on to the next host the next victim you know they are highly reptilian fell in love with hannah doesn't realize that with all of these quote-unquote changes she's making narcissists are parasites especially lesser ones all of them are to an extent but lesser ones particularly are she is turning nick into a different person not the man she fell in love with quote unquote so Work you're trying that. to change your flirtation for me i'm trying to change here we go with circular conversations. This is another sign of narcissism. You cannot win no matter what you say. No matter how much you placate them, no much no matter how much you kiss their ass and suck up to them, they're just gonna suck the lifeblood out of you. Change my personality for you, yeah. So by me asking you not to flirt with other women, I'm changing I, your personality. I wasn't there flirting. Okay. There you go. Here we go. See? You see how she keeps trying to shark it, sharp angle him? But that's what it came across to you. Mm-hmm. And we're also that uh, narcissists are hypersensitive to threats to their control. Things that we would not even pay attention to or even realize are even threats to their control. They get picked up on. Like, you know, how dogs have a hyperactive sense of smell. Narcissists pick up on threats to control. And you'd be like, what? How is that even a threat? But, you know, you never know. (laughs) never know what's a threat to control to a narcissist because they're very, very sensitive to it. In this experiment, sometimes you have tests, and it was a test that I think that you failed. This woman is insane. No, she's not insane. She's just a narcissist. This woman is, like, honestly, dude, Hannah just doesn't know when to quit, dude. Yeah, that's the upper lesser type B. Bellicose, bulldozer, brash, you know. They just steamroll through everyone and everything on the on the path of life. They just bulldoze their way through everything she does not know when to quit man no wonder she's pissed off at katie katie uplifted this dude she didn't, probably an empath didn't rag on him all dude all this one the, hannah is so she is just too critical of nick she's just too critical of nick man like honestly hannah really just needs to move on it actually yeah and donovan doesn't realize that the reason why she hasn't moved on at least not yet she does spoilers but the reason why is because she's still drawing fuel from him the narcissist will discard the IPPS, the intimate partner primary source, when they've sucked all the fuel out of them. Remember, they're parasites, they're vampires, emotional vampires. Well, Nick needs to move on. But um, just as long as you <laughs> I didn't even get a D, I failed. As long as you don't fail again. Uh, as long as you don't fail again, well, then what happens if he fails again, Hannah? What are you going to go off and get another threat for Nick? Well, that's what I'm, you know, I don't want to fail you. Hopefully, I don't fail this. This haughtiness, this sense of entitlement, like you have to abide by my standards, my way. This is, you know, uh, this type of narcissist that I think Hannah is. Now, I'm not 100% that she's an upper lesser type B, but I'm pretty certain, like 75% at least. If she's not a narcissist, she's highly narcissistic. That's for goddamn sure. But, you know, you have to answer to them. It's their way or no way. They'll throw their toys out of the pram, you know. We'll see, Nick. You're supposed to have confidence in me. I have confidence in you, Nick. There you go. That's all I needed. Hello? She doesn't. I mean, the thing also as well is the compartmentalization with the narcissist. That has to be emphasized as well. They can say something horrible one second and then half a second later, something pleasant and half a second later. It's another dig and then half a second later. 
is something pleasant. Watch the um, the breakdown made by <clears throat> the narcissist watcher. I don't know if he's still active, but he did a brilliant analysis analysis on um, Zanab and Cole. That's another good example of a complete nightmare of a narcissist. You know, uh, Zanab uh, and Cole. I would say it was probably a normal, possibly. An, I think normal. I think normal. But, um, you know, the switch from second to second to second. Compliment, criticism, comment, criticism, compliment, criticism. It just from second to second to second because it's the need to assert control. If you need a compliment, reach in, compliment. If you need to assert control, criticism, reach in, criticism. It, it can be literally half a second. What's up, guys? Is that Hi. Kate? Hi. Is this Hi. Katie? How are you? What's up, Hannah? Hannah? But anyway, I don't want to go on too long. I've made the point, I think, you know, and this is fucking unwatchable. It's, oh, I hate watching this. It's hard to watch. So hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I don't like to see somebody being bullied like this, you know, but it's for educational purposes. And check out Donovan's uh, channel and his stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time.